Now we talk about scheduling algorithms in actual uh, operating systems. And first we will look into Linux. So on Linux, the earlier versions of Linux uh, did not do well on uh, SMP systems. What does SMP stand for, by the way? Symmetric multiprocessing. Yes. On symmetric multiprocessing systems, it did not do well. So the, then they came up with a different algorithm that did well on symmetric multiprocessing, but it did not do well with uh, interactive processes. So that led to developing uh, the completely fair scheduling algorithm, a completely fair scheduler, CFS. Uh, that is used in the more recent uh, versions of Linux. Uh, and that scheduling algorithm is applied to processes that are in the normal category or default. There is another category which is real time. So there, is, there are two main categories, real time and normal processes or default processes. Real-time processes have the highest priority. Normal processes are scheduled using the CFS scheduling algorithm. Now, the CFS scheduling algorithm is based on the virtual running time. So basically processes, uh, a process is selected based on the virtual running time. And what's the virtual running time It's calculated, it's a function of two things. It's a function of the actual running time and the nice value. So what's the actual running time? The actual running time is the length of the, uh, of the last CPU burst or it's an, uh, an estimated CPU burst length based on history. Okay, it's estimated CPU burst length based on history. And the nice value is just a priority number. So the nice value is a priority number. And in this case, smaller values will indicate higher priority. So, uh, nice equals zero, that's normal priority. Nice equals or nice less than zero, nice is negative, that's higher priority. And nice greater than zero is lower priority. So and nice values go from minus 20 to 19. So the highest priority here is what? The highest priority number is minus 20. The lowest priority number is plus 19. So, so the virtual running time is calculated based on the actual running time and the nice value. So the, if a process is in the neutral category where the nice is zero, which is the default, the virtual, the virtual running time will be equal to the actual running time. Okay, so, okay, let's write it more clearly. Virtual running time will be equal to the actual running time. Now, what, what do you expect here for nice values less than zero. The virtual running time will be smaller or greater? Smaller. Smaller. Smaller than virtual running time is smaller than actual running time. And here, virtual running time is greater than actual running time. So still, so it's a combination of a priority number and the, ac the, the actual running time. By the way, when we are applying, we are using the actual running time, 
in calculating the virtual running time, uh, which scheduling algorithm are we using here? Which basic scheduling algorithm is this? <coughs> So we're favoring a process with a shorter actual running time. So this is just shortest job first. So essentially we're doing a combination of shortest job first and nice value corresponds to which basic scheduling algorithm? Mm -hmm. Priority. Yeah. So basically this virtual running time is a combination. It's calculated based on a combination of shortest job first and priority. <coughs> Which means that having the shortest CPU burst doesn't necessarily mean that you will get the CPU because there's another factor which is the priority number. So it's a combination of nice value and the length of the CPU burst. And the system will just give the CPU to the process with the, with the smallest virtual running time. Okay. So, why are they using the word nice here? What's the point in using the word nice? Because when you are, when you have the highest nice value, when you have 19, when your nice is 19, nice equals 19, this means that you are super nice. <laughs> and what does that mean? Over 19 you. you get less priority. Yeah, you get less priority. Does this happen in real life? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it does. It's, you know, pe nicer people get lower priority because nicer people tend to be givers and, uh, you know, they, they, they don't fight, they don't aggressively fight for things, so uh, they get taken advantage of in real life. And, uh, you know, that's what what happens in scheduling here. So the nicest processes are the processes uh, that are not taking much CPU time. So uh, they are giving more time to other. So they are being nice to other processes and they are letting other processes get more CPU time. By the way, on Linux systems, the nice value is something that you can set. If you are the, uh, the owner of the process, uh, you can set the nice value of that process. And by the way, do you always want to set the nice value to the smallest possible value? No. Sometimes you may want to set it to the highest or to a high nice value. Why? If you are, you have this computer and you're going to use the process, the, the computer for two different processes. One process is going to download a file from a big file from the internet, and the other process is an interactive process like a text editor that we'll be using. So in this case, you may want to lower the priority of the downloading process so that it doesn't take uh, a lot of CPU time. And that will give your interactive process more CPU time. So as a user, you may have multiple processes that you care about. and. You don't want all of the all the processes to have, uh, you know, higher priorities. Sometimes you want some of your processes to have lower priorities, so that your other processes get higher priorities. So, and an example is a process that uh, you, you know, that can be executed in the background. Uh, you give it lower priority, while a process, an interactive process that you are using, you want it to have. Uh, the highest priority so that you get the best response from the system. Uh, okay. So in implementing this, this is a priority-based scheduling algorithm. Uh, so in implementing this, uh, the system will use uh, some kind of data structure that will allow it to find the process with the shortest virtual time uh, quickly. And one data structure for this is a, a binary search tree. So in a binary search tree, the process with the minimum virtual running time is going to be uh, the leftmost node in the binary search tree. Uh, okay, so this is you know an application of 
the data structures that you have studied in your data structures class. Now, the, the completely first scheduling algorithm, as we said, applies only to normal processes. While real-time processes will have higher priority. And in fact, uh, in, in a Linux system, uh, the priority values from 0 to 99 are reserved to real-time processes while normal processes can only get priority values from 100 to 139. So 100 corresponds to a uh, uh, nice number of minus 20. So this is the highest priority among normal processes. 100 corresponds to minus 20, nice value. And 139 corresponds to plus 19. So this is uh, the big picture for in a Linux uh, system.